On the 4th of October 1947, a small caravan of about 15 non-Muslims tried to cross the bridge Ravi from Pakistan to this side. They were entrapped by the Muslim military picket on the other side of the bridge. That caravan included four women. The male members of the caravan were murdered during the night. Our military picket on this side of the bridge heard shrieks and cries of the victims. The Gorkar in charge of the picket saw the women with Muslim military men. They kept those women in their tents during the night, and the military picket on our side heard their shrieks during the night, as if they were being raped. Later on those women never crossed the bridge to this side. My father was a teacher at Mirpur. We had left our village and had gone to Mirpur to seek shelter from the disturbances which had started in March last. When the raiders came, the people of Mirpur ran. At Akalga, the Muslim military surrounded us and they sorted out young girls. Abdul Rahman captured me and took me to Tahasil Kohadar. I was married to him and lived with him as his wife for one month. The police visited that village and found me out and took me to Rawalpindi camp. I was lodged in the camp at Rawalpindi for a month and 10 days, when I was brought to Lahore. There are 48 girls in the camp at Rawalpindi. The Muslims who visited the camp to meet the girls whom they forcefully married, threatened them, that if they go to India, they would be killed by the Sikhs and the Hindus and thus warned them that they should not express their willingness to be evacuated. About two months ago, a Muslim mob attacked my village. My father and mother were killed in this attack. No Aputan, one of the raiders abducted me and took me to Hodi Mutin. My younger sister Gyanko, aged about six years, also accompanied me. The attack took place on the refugee camp at Mirpur where lots of people from the neighboring villages were gathered. The raiders took away 4,500 girls with them. From Hodi Mutin he took me to Marjkari. I remained with him for over a month. I was married to him at Marjkari. He was hiding me from place to place as the police was in search of me. The police afterwards caught hold of me and brought me to Rawalpindi and put me in the camp. Nawab asked me whether I wanted to go back to India, but I under fear told him that as my parents had been killed, I would not go to India and thus agreed to the nikah with him. In the camp at Rawalpindi there were 51 girls. These girls are from the Poonch state and from Kohutat Hasil. This camp is guarded by the police. This camp is visited by those Muslims who are married to the girls lodged in it, but the police does not permit the girls to go with these Muslims. A British officer of the MEO of West Punjab reported that at a place near Sheikhupura he was called to rescue a Hindu girl, who had been carried away by Muslim National Guards. He found the girl in a hut with four of her captors, who had raped and cut off her breasts and were now frying them. He shot the lot, 